evening. I'm Vicki Dorn. And I'm Rick Van Hoos. Tonight, fire officials say GE was warned several times before the fire at Appliance Park that equipment needed to be upgraded. WLKY's Carolyn Callahan joins us outside Appliance Park with the findings. Carolyn? Well, fire officials say that GE had been warned for more than a decade that the sprinkler system needed to be upgraded. Okalona's fire chief says had the water systems been working properly in April, things would have been a bit easier for firefighters. A spokeswoman for GE says that a lot of what was released in this investigation report is not correct. They also place some of the blame for the sprinklers on another company. Flames destroyed Building 6 at GE Appliance Park in April. Fire officials say it caused more than $50 million in damage. They believe it was sparked by either a lightning strike or was an electrical fire. Either way, investigators say an upgraded sprinkler system would have helped firefighters. I believe a sprinkler system would have extinguished the, or would have held the fire in check, which would allow the firefighters to get in and to be able to extinguish the fire. Fire investigators say GE's insurance company, which inspects the building yearly, has told the company for more than a decade that sprinklers need to be updated. Some of those recommendations were made in 2001 to ch make these changes, and um, they had started the process. A spokeswoman for GE says they were told the sprinklers needed to be upgraded, but says the sprinklers in question were the responsibility of the lessee, not GE. We gave that recommendation to Derby Industries. It was their responsibility as a leasee to make those upgrades, and they did not do so. GE officials say the sprinklers were releasing water during the fire, but fire investigators say the ones where the fire started were not. Nobody sees water flowing from the sprinkler riser that's directly above the area where the fire started. Later in the incident, they see them from a different riser that's farther to the west, and then they also see them from risers that are farther to the east. We have visual confirmation testimony that the sprinkler systems were indeed working. We have about five employees that saw them working. Now, Kim Freeman, the spokeswoman for GE, says they are still going over that report, saying they just received it yesterday. She also tells us that they have settled about $500,000 worth of claims from residents in the area. She also says that GE has been upgrading its fire prevention tool since 2010. She says the company continues to do so. Reporting live, Carolyn Callahan, WLKY News. Thank you, Carolyn. A GE spokeswoman says they still have not decided on the future of Building 6, which was destroyed. She also said she could not comment on whether the the company is working with the fire department for compensation due to all of the hours they worked the fire.